With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with a question which says there are two projectiles thrown simultaneously in the same plane from the same point. If their velocities are v1 and v2 at an angle theta1 and theta2 respectively from the horizontal, then answer the following question. First is, the trajectory of particle 1 with respect to particle 2 will be. So we need to uh, comment on the trajectory. So it is a quite important result of a uh, two body which is doing a projectile motion in terms of their relative motion. Alright, so here we have shown two projectile one is at an angle theta one having u1 velocity one is a, another is at an angle theta two having u2 velocities. Both are fired simultaneously. So uh, we can analyze each of the projectile uh, like suppose individually let's say we are uh, we are analyzing first projectile which is moving with u1 velocity and at an angle theta one so if we uh, resolve its component of velocity so we can say it will be having a component in the vertical direction which is nothing but u1 sine theta one uh, j cap all right in terms of magnet uh, direction we are writing and this will be u1 cos theta one i cap similarly what we can do over here is we can uh, take it for the next particle that is for another particle as well which is moving with velocity u2 at an angle of theta 2 from the horizontal all right so let's make it over here theta 2 so it will also have a component of its velocities that is we can write uh, this will be u2 uh, sine theta 2 again j cap and here it would be u2 cos theta 2 i cap all right so these are the velocities which we have shown as we know uh, projectile motion is an uh, motion under gravity case so we can say acceleration of particle 1 will be uh, g minus j cap because the direction of gravity is always downwards similarly it is for uh, same acceleration will be there for particle 2 as well that is minus g j cap Alright, so now we have with us the velocity and the acceleration. So if we uh, wish to write the uh, total velocity u1, we can say the total velocity that is u1 bar associated with particle 1 can be written as uh, u1 sin theta 1 j cap plus of u1 cos theta 1 i cap. So this is the velocity that has been associated with uh, particle 1 and acceleration we can write a1 bar as minus gj cap. Alright and similarly so here for this particle we can say this can be written as u2 bar and that can be written as u2 and here we will put a bar over here so it will represent a vectors all right so now we can say this can be written as u2 sin theta 2 j cap plus of u2 cos theta 2 i cap and similarly for acceleration we can write it as a2 bar is minus gj cap all right so from here we can say uh, if we wish to find velocity of particle 1 with respect to 2 so this can be written as uh, u1 bar minus of u2 bar and if you substitute the values and uh, rearrange the term so we can write u1 sin theta 1 minus of u2 sin theta 2 j cap can be taken on one side all right and similarly uh, for this we can write this can be written as u1 cos theta 1 minus of u2 cos theta 2 i cap can be taken out as common so this is what the uh, velocity relation we are getting and similarly for acceleration we can say acceleration of particle 1 with respect to 2 can be written as a1 bar minus of a2 bar and if we carefully analyze a1 bar is minus gj cap plus again gj cap so relative acceleration is coming out to be 0 this implies that so this is a quite important result which we have uh, derived it over here so if we uh, we know if acceleration is 0 that means velocity has to be constant that means if acceleration we are getting is zero 
this implies that velocity has to be what constant because acceleration is nothing but it is change in velocity with respect to time but there is no change in velocity so acceleration will be zero all right so we can say this is the relative case so uh, individual particle may have different velocities but with respect to another particle uh, we have calculated that acceleration is zero that means the relative velocity between the two will be constant and if this is so so we can write so we can uh, write a important note over here regarding this when two particles moving under gravity or we can say in this case projectile doing projectile projectile is also the case of uh, motion under gravity so we can say path of one particle path of one particle with respect to another will be a straight line so this is a very important concept we need to uh, remember this result whenever two bodies are doing a projectile motion or they are moving under gravity path of one particle with respect to another will always be a straight line so since we have discussed velocity is constant so i hope you have understood the concept so if we uh, check the option so option b is the right answer it is not vertical it is not horizontal it continuously changes but always it will be a straight line all right so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today